professional championship boxer turned world wrestling professional champion, legend and hall of famer. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, tonight we look into the life and career of Justin Blaze. We usually get an opening statement and brief view from the first person's perspective. However, unfortunately five years ago the legendary Blaze passed away at the age of 82. So as our main guest we have with us Justin, just Blaze Jr. He is here tonight to tell us all about his father's legacy. Blaze. Thanks for having me tonight. My pleasure. Now a little off topic, but do we have to mention this as part of the life of your father? If it is uncomfortable for you at any point, you can opt to pass. Okay. Now, your father raised you single-handedly as your mother passed away when you were young, correct? <coughs> uh, literally moments after I was born. Oh, oh, um, I'm sorry to hear that. I never knew that. No worries. Well, um, I'm sorry you caught me off guard. <laughs> I'm good at that. Ask any of my opponents. <laughs> no, many expected your father to quit his career, and many critiqued him for putting career over family. Do you believe this to be true? Well... As history knows, my father raised me on his own. When my mother died during birthing me, my father not only balanced being a single parent, but also continued his boxing career. He told me that's what my mom wanted. She didn't want her death to be the end of boxing. She knew he could balance both worlds, and he did. So, I would have to disagree. In fact, I, I respect my father all the more for it. He bore the brunt of being my father, uh, my mother, and held down a full-time job to provide for me, knowing he couldn't let my mother down. He also didn't want me to feel like I put an end to his career and ruined him, so he fought for all of it. He was a, he was also very present in my childhood. <laughs> the dude was my best friend. Uh, as sad as it sounds, I was that kid that stayed home sometimes instead of going to play out with my friends to hang out with my dad. Wow. It's not hard to believe that he was your best friend after hearing that. Now I apologize in advance for this question. <clears throat> How much can you tell me about... Um... My mother? Yes. Like I said earlier, relax. Uh, my mom, she was my father's rock. She was everything for him. She is the one that was in the gym with him all the time. She would push him beyond his limits, from what my dad says anyway. Uh, she was ruthless with him. She never let him second guess himself. Whenever he did second guess himself, she said she knew his worth. She was also my dad's manager throughout the vast majority of his boxing career until she passed. I know she loved me very much too. My father said she knew of the potentially fatal complications uh, of the pregnancy and she proceeded with it because she said she would never for a second abandon me. She must have been one hell of a woman. My father never remarried, didn't even remove his ring. Apparently in his vow he specifically said that not even death could part them. I'm kind of lost for words. Who's got your names out there? <laughs> that is one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard. But we should move on to his career and return to life and here and there. Thank you for your fantastic cooperation. Anytime. So, can you take us back to the beginning? As in the earliest memories of your father's career and how it impacted you as a child watching his father compete in boxing? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I was about seven or eight years old when my dad uh, became the boxing heavyweight champion again. Around that time, I just started really watching him in the ring, you know, to be honest with you. Before, I was just into, you know, cartoons and my friends, you know, kid stuff. But when I started paying attention to my dad's career, well, it was something magical to me, you know, inspiring. I watched every fight after that, even appeared after some of his biggest wins. He would bring me into the ring and parade around and let me even hold his title sometimes. <laughs> uh, I'll never forget it. Uh, each time he'd tell me he did it all for me. His boxing was fueled by having me as his son. He wanted to do something that made me proud. Little did he know I was already very proud of him. Why was that? Well, the achievement alone can make any kid proud, but doing it as a single parent, I mean, come on. How did all that work out though? Did you have like an aunt or uncle or grandparents? 
No, actually, a caregiver. A trusted one my father knew. She was basically like a nanny. But when it, he when he was done with his fights and stuff, he was always there. He wasn't like the reporters tried to label him a deadbeat dad who only cared for his boxing. In fact, watch any of his matches and you'll see me right in the front row watching him. I even accompanied him as a manager once or twice when I was old enough. And no, unlike the labels, I didn't do it to try and avoid negligence. I wasn't doing it to, you know, get into his career so he would you know appreciate me the man taught me everything i know today i see i see there's lots of controversy back then about your father yeah but he didn't let it stop him the sex scandals deadbeat dad stuff tax evasion none of it it was all proven false and he kept his head high the whole time my father was a good man not just inside the ring but in life in general sounds like it now we would like to take a look at a little montage to be made of how he went from boxing legend to world wrestling legend. This was the moment where your father Blaze became a wrestling phenom. Yes, yes, I remember that night. My pops was in the crowd and the security had come and got us. Dad had mentioned he was part of the show, but I didn't know the details. I was 15 at the time. Uh, I sat and watched backstage and saw my father knock out the champ. I was shocked. I didn't really know how it worked. I didn't know it was a work. Thought my dad really knocked him out there. Uh, turns out, dad was very popular with the crowd. A couple of weeks later, dad got a call and they asked him about changing his career. So at the time, dad was getting pretty tired of boxing. He was in his prime, nearly undefeated. He had been boxing for ages then and wanted to try something new. It's why he took the gig to begin with. So, uh, about a month later after that phone call, we were traveling the world. Show after show, night after night, dad competed. He was used to his, bo he used his boxing moves and, you know, he was also being taught how to wrestle. Picked it up quite fast. Amazing. Is this what got you interested in your career? Absolutely. Sometimes backstage I would train with my dad. He taught me a thing or two. But I see, I was more of a brawler. He supported that though. Uh, that's how I started in MMA. See, although my father inspired me and supported me, uh, he was like my idol. I didn't want to be exactly like him. MMA was a good outlet for me to, to begin in. But eventually, as my father grew bigger in the wrestling business, I became more intrigued. He got me signed into the developmental while he was on the main brand. You did, however, end up doing MMA for a while, no? I did. Uh, 25 and 0. And you know what? My dad trained me and still handled my ass as easily as he did when we played, <laughs> like when we used to play fight when I was younger. <laughs> Actually, no, that's wrong. How so? I actually won when I was a kid. <laughs> no, that was around the time your father was starting to have his health issues, correct? Yeah, that was getting up there in age and all. See, the tabloids had people thinking he was taking drugs and stuff, steroids. Truth be told, he was just getting old. My dad faced a lot of criticism when he wrestled. Once, you know, he... I mean, for one, he was a black wrestler beating white men, which, let's face it, wasn't really seen very nicely back then, and winning championships. It was, it was revolutionary, but it came with its controversy. The man was at the pick, pinnacle of entertainment, so obviously people were hating. I hated it, but Dad loved it. He said it made him stronger, fueled him. Sounds like he was a fighter in and out of the ring. Hell yeah to that. My dad was always a fighter. He told me on his deathbed that even when he passes, he would be fighting in the heaven. To this day, I imagine he's like the 10-time champion or something fighting with the greats of boxing and wrestling. That would be incredible. Is there anything else you'd like to address tonight before we end the show? I just want the world to know that my father, the Phoenix, the man who set the world on fire, the man was... The man with the heart of a lion and the tiger's fury, Blaze was and still this day is still one of the best bosses and wrestlers of all time. He overcame the negativity of the world, died a champion, Long live my father and let his fire rage on. Much love, Pops. Hope I'm making you proud. Thank you for your time, Justin. I thank you to the viewers at home. Good night.